Hello Water Science, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Welcome. This is going to be a reading looking at the future of your current connection. So we'll see what the cards can reveal with some overall um, energy advice. And then we'll lay out a few more cards to see um, what this future could look like with this person um, and in this connection. So if you are a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this reading can be for you. Uh, if you have a heavy Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio placement in your natal birth chart, then absolutely this reading can also be applicable um, and also to the cross watchers watching as well. So um, let's jump into it, uh, Water Signs, and see what's the overall, overall energy. Um, the future of this connection for water signs. Okay, you have the three of wands, but it's actually reversed. Now, the three of wands is a card of movement. Um, it is known upright. It is. A, is it? It's a card of taking chances. It is. Um, it's a card of having options. However, however. Um, because this is in reverse, it tells me that the future of this connection, it's almost like you're eliminating third parties here. So this is becoming more, um, this is becoming suddenly more, more powerful. I love that these, we see these two rings intertwined here because it's like you and this person coming together. And it almost like looks like this infinity symbol here. So I feel, um, for a lot of you, um, you're making your person the priority or this person is making you their priority. There could be um, engagements or marriages coming up in this connection as well. So that's very exciting. Um, but I feel like with the three of wands, um, you're looking, you're planning more or you're looking more to the immediate or near future rather than the distant future. And that's okay. There may be a message here that you need to focus more on the nearer future rather than thinking too far ahead. I mean, it's all well and good if you want to get carried away with those plans and thoughts and fantasies, but I think a message here exists for you that, you know, you need to focus more on the immediate future with this person. Um, but I feel like you're very linked to this person and you're very intertwined. Um, and I feel like this does, I feel like this is something about priorities. You're either working through your priorities with this person or you're going to have new priorities together. So there's a, there's a shift in priority, I feel, possibly with a fire sign. Um, let's see what's coming up more in the cards. Um, what's the future of this connection? Okay, there is a lot of movement with the Six of Swords, and you do have that Ace of Cups, which is fantastic. Um, I really feel like you're in for a new chapter. Now, the Ace of Cups can rule traditional marriages, engagements, coming together, moving in, any sort of milestone around love. Um, so it can be a message here that God, fate, the universe sort of is backing this connection. Um, and I also feel like it's going to be something you want to do, Cancer sign, um, uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Why? Because you have the Ace of Cups, okay? And this really indicates that this is the this is the water sign which is you that wants to make these things happen okay it's going to be your doing your initiative you're sort of going to invite it um into your life but i feel like a lot of you might be eliminating other options and suddenly this connection is like wow it's really being cemented towards um uh, cemented for you the queen of cups okay there's a lot of love someone falling very deeply for you you falling for them it could also be a mutual love that's taking place the future of this connection there's real love with pure feelings and pure intentions um, I feel with the Empress, there can be news of fertility or children here because it's also come up in the cards. That may be something you may share with this person um, eventually. But the Six of Swords, okay, we see the boat. The boat is protection. So I'm getting a sense that um, you're going to be more protective over each other. Okay, the future of this connection, you're much more protective um, and you're sort of like this close-knit family unit. So I feel um, that's very favorable for you, Water Signs, because you can be quite, you know, you, you can require a certain level of emotion and you are, you, you're, you're such a giver. You give so much love and so much affection and, you know, this is, this is what your person really loves about you. Um, but I feel like there's more protection coming in. But I also feel like you're going to be moving a lot. So I'm, I'm getting the sense that some sacrifices um, will be made towards this connection. Um, and these sacrifices can include moving, relocating, changing your social media habits, changing your hobbies, changing your lifestyle for this relationship. I don't get a vibe that you're 
completely compromising everything and it's just all for this person. I get that it's a healthy balance of eliminating some things that may cause trouble in this relationship. And it sort of ties in very much to that overall energy. You know, you're eliminating options. You're eliminating things that can go wrong. You're eliminating communication with exes, maybe. Um, you're eliminating uh, cheating habits, wandering eye habits, you know, any sort of activity that makes your person feel like an option or it makes you feel like an option, I feel like the promise to eliminate that and work through it appears fantastic. And we see a lot of growth. Um, you know, look at that uh, Look at that Empress. She rules growth. So I'm seeing that there's a lot of growth in this connection. But I do want to mention with the Magician, um, this is Aries energy. So there's a lot of new energy, infatuation or attraction that's coming up in your connection. But I also see independence and autonomy. Okay, but it's a healthy autonomy. So something about maybe getting your identity back or maybe trusting each other when you're alone, alone on business trips or alone with friends, this sort of autonomy, but it's coming up favorably. And I think this is going to reflect very powerfully um, with your connection because suddenly you're going to, um, you're going to trust each other more and value that trust much more than you perhaps previously did. Now, the magician can sometimes be seen as the manipulator as well, though. So there can be some minor manipulations that take place in this relationship, either from your side or from theirs. Is it something you can work through? Absolutely. You can move forward. You can move away from those murky waters into something more calm. So um, just know that these challenges, it's not like there's a magic wand and it's going to be waved and all of it will disappear. Each connection and relationship will, will come with its own challenges, but your ability to move forward in those challenges is going to improve. Um, so that's fantastic to see as well. But overall, I feel with the Queen of Cups, there's more appreciation and more gratitude coming, which is fantastic. Um, or it's like if there is that manipulation in the relationship, the Queen of Cups is like being open and being in a vulnerable state. So there's a lot more vulnerabilities coming. And sometimes that's going to put you in a good position, water signs. Other times it's going to put you in a not so good position. But you have to take the good with the bad. It's just how relationships are. There's multiple facets of them. Um, but overall, I feel like you're leaning more towards that. Um, and I feel like the changes you make now in the immediate and distant future can very much impact um, that long distance future when it eventually comes. But the focus here for you appears to be more in what's happening now or what's happening very, very soon. Um, because essentially, you know, we are building our futures. We are living our futures and the, the present become, um, the present becomes the future. So I think just remember that with, with the actions, with the conversations you're having, with behavioral patterns, because essentially you are creating that future currently with this person. I'll leave it at that though. So thank you again so much for watching. Um, absolutely appreciate it. And I hope to be in touch very soon. Don't forget to subscribe and ciao for now.